Welcome back to AM Buffalo. Now, the National Cancer Institute has been reporting a decrease in uh, lung cancer diagnoses, and this is not actually good news. And I don't want to get you down because knowledge is power, and the more you know, the more you can take your health into your own hands. So joining us now on AM Buffalo is Dr. Stiles to tell us exactly how we can do that. With the National Cancer Institute reporting a decrease in the number of lung cancer diagnoses, Dr. Brendan Stiles joins us on AM Buffalo to talk about how this is actually not a good thing. I think ordinarily in normal circumstances, we'd be thrilled to hear that there's a decrease in lung cancer diagnoses. That's really quite different now. We, we think lung cancer diagnoses are down by as much as 50% in many states. And this doesn't mean that those cancers aren't happening. We think that they're just not getting detected because of COVID. And so there's a lot of people going undiagnosed and untreated um, and potentially threatening their lives and their survival because of that. We necessarily had to slow down or stop screening in a lot of places, which I think was the right thing at the time. We had over 200 patients in our ICUs at, at one point, and over 400 in the hospital. And um, you know, so basically everybody in the hospital was treating COVID for a while. And I saw as many COVID patients as I ever want to see We've gotten past that now though. And I think, you know, as we see COVID make its way geographically around different areas, we can't ignore the other health problems, cancers, heart disease, other things that we know are still occurring. What sort of symptoms should we be on the lookout for before it's too late? Part of the problem is that a lot of the symptoms are respiratory symptoms. And of course, a lot of the symptoms of COVID are respiratory symptoms. So things like cough, shortness of breath, um, fatigue, those all overlap with lung cancer. We like to find lung cancer in and when it's asymptomatic with screening. But if symptoms arise, we know that it's probably a more advanced stage. Things like I described, but also bone pain, um, coughing up blood are really quite alarming and those really shouldn't wait to be worked up. So really the most important thing is just to get back to your doctor and get your lung cancer screenings happening before it's too late. Well, I think it's a great time to get in touch with your doctor. I know a lot of patients were reluctant. I think not just lung cancer, but we're probably missing lots of diseases. Um, there's different opportunities and different ways to do it, telemedicine, but I think there's probably been a never more important time to be in touch with your primary care physician, your pulmonologist. And if you are diagnosed with lung cancer and you're going into treatment, what should you consider, considering that there is a pandemic still going on in the world right now? Yeah, it's a tough call. I think don't be scared. I think our hospital, lots of hospital systems have taken inordinate amounts of precautions to protect our patients, but we can take care of patients well. I mean, whether that's surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, Again, the communication with your doctor is really critical, doing telemedicine where we can and where appropriate, but really finding a way to get these patients treated because we know that we're missing a lot of lung cancer patients. And we don't want that. We don't want that. What would you say to people in Western New York? Because we have had a little surge. I'm a big believer in testing, and I know, you know I don't want to politicize it, but I just think knowing who has it, knowing their contacts is really the key. And that's the key, certainly for a health system, to be able to test frequently well and to know what they're dealing with so that they can protect their patients and their staff. Um, I think, you know, I think just probably now is not the time to let up on everything. Being, being careful and being responsible is the key. You can still go about your life with uh, some degree of social distancing and masks. And I think it's important that we get the economy back and life back and all those things, but just be smart about it. And remember to get your screenings done. Get your screenings done. Take care of you. Check in with your doctor and be sure to keep up with your screenings. Find out more at COVID19cancerresources.com.